here we are. Hey guys, and welcome in a new episode of Strum. 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 So yeah, basically, I decided to spice things up a little bit and change my way of doing this podcast. And I don't know, I think it could be more cozy to, since we are hanging here on YouTube, to make more out of the YouTube aspect of those podcasts. So I thought, okay, why not try to share my face in here and say properly hi and be able to share some smiles and good karma with you while we listen to music and, I don't know, maybe discover some of your new favorite tracks. So basically, I don't think I can be more casual than what I'm doing here. I just came back home. I thought, okay, why not try? I'm doing it right now. Let's let's see how it goes. And yeah, welcome in my bedroom. It's a big mess. Like, I really need to do something about it. So I think I'm going to do it now. And in the meantime, we're going to start listening to the first track. So let's go and see you on the other side. And I almost forgot track number one. Yeah, let's talk about music, right? So track number one, it's from Rupture Rapture, and it's called Motive. And this one is one of those good ones, the one you want to add in your playlist if you haven't done already. You can find it on his latest album called Perpetual Motion. My pronunciation, right? Anyway, I think you got it. You can find this beautiful tape on our web store at petitvictorycollective.com. And yeah, let's just dive into the music and talk about it after. See you soon, guys.
And here we are again. How are you guys? So, what did you thought about this number? I actually really liked what Rob did on this track, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. So basically now it's night time. I can't sleep, so I'm just hanging around and eating kicks. Do you like those ones? Kind of my favorite at night. So I was thinking a lot about, okay, what should be track number two? And then I stepped on my good friend Diga. Um, he recently put out a jam on YouTube uh, with Digitact and Circuit Tracks uh, using the Sound Waste sample pack that we just released as well with PVC. And yeah, this track is just good. It's a feel good track with a bouncy bass and pretty straightforward with all the um, all the fields and all the spices on top that you need to have in a regular electronic number. So yeah, let's just put on. I think it should be track number two. So let's get to it. Thank you. 
And we're back. What do you think, guys? So, yeah, basically, I think it was a very nice jam and worth some more views and listeners because Dega is doing awesome. And yeah, I think we should give him more credit because that was super interesting. And the way he was using the digit act and the circuit tracks as a combo together with a sound design was pretty neat, I think. And coming next, we have uh, 59 Pelden. So yeah, I think you know the man, 59 Pelden, Matthias playing mainly with the Digitact and so many gears. And our friend recently released a new album through the American label called Shady Rich Records. And yeah, that was pretty neat. Like the track is beautiful. Like the one we're gonna play on here now, sorry. So it's basically called Dunes and or dune or dunes or whatever you pronounce it and yeah it's super fresh it's like it got those soundtrack and cinematic vibe and the first time i heard it like after not even 30 seconds i knew that it would become my new favorite track from him and yeah that was it i've been spinning this track for some times now and i hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as i did and track number four. This one is from my local friend here in Denmark called Sekonsen. He recently released a single called Into the Nebula. And yeah, if you are into ambient, modular, this is beautiful. This is a real journey and yeah, my kind of sonic experiences. I really, really enjoyed it. And if you like what you hear, hold on because there is a full album coming your way through Petit Victory Collective in a couple of days. So hold tight. See you right after.
So what do you think? We're back and whoa, right? Like when I listen to those two tracks right after each other, I'm just, just feel good. So basically now we're going to try something that I would like to try more often, which means I'm going to play two tracks that I haven't listened to. So I know the artists and that's pretty much it. And I don't know, I think it's exciting to listen to the tracks with you. And I guess we can just talk about it after. So the next track is from DV Air. And it might be interesting, I'm sure of that, because the guy is usually playing and recording music, mainly with guitar and many pedals with really beautiful effects. And yeah, if you are into ambient drones with epic and huge sound design, that might be it. So let's hear and let's see what, what comes out. And the track coming right after TVR is from Alexander Savidi. And yeah, I've, I think I've been following and supporting this guy for two, three years now. And I'm just a huge fan of this kind of electronic. Um, the guy is playing techno and electronic house music with a really deep and melodic feel that just talks straight to me. Every time I hear the tracks, I'm like, whoa. And recently he brought his wife over. And I think that together they are kind of shaping songs and creating tracks together is producing the music while she is singing and what i've heard so far was incredible and really beautiful and really well crafted so i'm super excited about what we're gonna hear now because i don't know where we are going so let's see so yeah let's listen to the tracks and i'm back after we can talk about it see you guys
And we're back. So what are your thoughts? I would love you to share them in the comments. And yeah, let's talk about your feelings and how you felt about those tracks. I think it's ex exciting to be able to listen to the music and discover the music in the same time as you here. So basically, I'm happy about those tracks, both of them in each their genres. I think the guys really delivered once again and whoa. I'm really not disappointed here. So that was great. I think we should talk about the two last tracks. Coming next, we have Mentat or Menta or I do know actually. And you might have to help me on that one because I never know if I have to pronounce the T at the end or not. Sorry about that. But anyway, the track itself is really good and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. If you're looking for new electronic music, this is one of the good as well, and one of the guy that you wanna have in your playlist, that's for sure. And yeah, let's talk about track number eight, and this one is the last track of this podcast, so hold on. Might be the best one as well, but shh. it's an exclusivity, and it's one of my upcoming singles. Yes, you heard it right. It's not released yet, and uh, it's a collaboration with my good friend Zerio. Uh, Zerio is from France, and we connected together through the Instagram. And yeah, I just love what happened in this one. It started as a jam, as one of my regular Sunday jam session, and Zerio just reached out like, Dude, I'd love to do a remix of this track. And then I thought, yeah, why not work on it together? Because, you know, it started as a jam. And basically, there were still so much room for improvement. And I thought, you know, two minds are better than one. So why not just give him the stems and see what comes out? And yeah, the magic just happened. Uh, it took like... Not even two weeks and the track was ready to go with everything hard works and stuff so it went fast and smooth and i really like what we did here so i will be looking forward to hear your impressions and in the meantime let's listen to the music see you guys and thanks for hanging out with me hey i almost forgot one important stuff um I hope you like the new form or I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here and what I'm doing yet. Okay, I know what I'm doing here, but this way of doing just right here in my corner in my bedroom in a way, uh, I find it cozy. I like it, but I'm not sure yet either. You tell me and I'll improve and we will see how it will evolve. And yeah, I found it more YouTube friendly in a way, so I might continue like that. Thanks for today, thanks for tonight, thanks for just be you and thanks for... I'm so bad at talking at the camera, guys. Seriously, I, I had to <laughs> redo and redo and redo this one. Anyway, what I wanted to say is thanks for coming by, thanks for stopping, thanks for supporting all those artists and when you when you find someone here, if you like what you are listening to, please go check them out, listen to the tracks and send send the text to the guy and say, hey, I love what you did and thanks for playing amazing music, you know, because that's what it should be all about, sharing and caring and supporting what we like. And yeah, that's what I try to do here with this concept and new format. So. You tell me if it works or not, I might continue because I kind of like it actually. And yeah, that was it for me. Thanks for coming over and I will see you in about three weeks. And I may improve a little bit my way of doing here because I was in the rush this weekend and I thought, okay, I will postpone the episode. But then I thought, okay, why? Why should I? Why not just go casual and say, hey, <laughs> we will try to make it through. So that's what I did here. And I hope 
it was worth your time, guys. So take care. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.